So hey everyone, I'm here in J. Crete, right? So uh, you can see over there that some of the participants of the event, right? We're right here in the Crete Islands. Uh, and you know, J. Crete is this awesome event uh, and I'm doing this tour around Europe. But I'm here with my good friends and awesome developer, uh, Svein Reimers, right? Hey Svein, how are you doing, man? Yeah, I'm doing fine, thanks Bruno. So, so Svein has been, you know, Svein is a Java champion. He is, uh, you know, an open source developer. He's a NetBeans Dream Team member. He's, he's been, uh, you know, he's awesome developer in a big company doing, doing amazing software. I'm not sure we, maybe we're gonna go into it, right? <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe not, maybe let's not, see. all right. Okay, so, so um, you know, Svein, you've been, you're here in J. Creed, right? J. Creed is an invite-only event. Yeah. Right. And so, and you are a founding member of J. Creed, right? Yeah, I'm a founding member of J. Creed. Yeah. So, like 2011, I think was the first one, and uh, um, I met a uh, Heinz and Kirk, uh, who are the the leading people behind the the idea um, at J. Focus, where we were together uh, giving a talk. Yes, we gave a talk there. That's that's good. So, so Zvian, you know, you are on these invite-only events, right? So with lots of Java champions, and you are a Java champion yourself, and and all of that, right? So, how did you get here? So, um, I got here in the end because of my contributions to open source. So, that's the way I learned to know Bruno. <laughs> and by Bruno, I got to learn Heinz and Kirk. So, yeah, so, and the rest is history, so. Um. That's good. So, so one thing that a lot of developers want to participate in open source, right? So, open source is one of those, those things that people want to do, they want to contribute back to the community. Yeah. But at the same time, they're afraid, right? They think that, you know, it's, they're not good enough. Uh, so can you tell us a little bit how you got started with open source? Yeah, okay. sure. So um, what I did was I, um, I was using a back then NetBeans IDE and um, there was a task that we, we wanted to have more um, static code analysis. So this is like more than 20 years back in time. And, um, but there was no integration for, for things like Finebox back then. So I started to scratch my own itch and, and write some integration for Finebox into NetBeans IDE. And then suddenly, sometime there was a uh, like a uh, a call for open source your favorite NetBeans IDE plugin and get a free T-shirt designed by James Gosling. <laughs> so what did I do? I wanted to have that T-shirt, so I open sourced my my plugin, got the T-shirt, and now I'm here. Cool. So so then you actually start open source by open source your own plugin, right? Yeah. But but uh, although you open source your own software, you were participate on NetBeans, the NetBeans was yeah. open source itself, right? Yeah. So so how hard was this, right? How, how hard was to for you to participate on open source projects? You know, is that something that it requires this this uh, you know you to be this huge developer that is the best developer in the world or something mm -hmm. like this. How, how does that work? No, typically not. So you start with small things. So you look at things that you're missing probably and then you just ask around the mailing list and you get pointed to where you could start. And uh, typically, open source projects nowadays even have like labels at GitHub who tell you, oh, this is an, like an easy pick or a, a starter thing. And um, some even start with like just pushing documentation things just to get to know the code base, get to know the tooling, and then go from there and take it step by step. So let's say, uh, yeah, started very small. And then uh, when I, uh, NetBeans was done at Apache, um, I started contributing to the, to the Groovy code base from there. But yeah, but it's, um, you take what you get. Actually, I forgot to mention that, right? So you're also a commuter on NetBeans, on Apache NetBeans, yeah. right? Uh, yeah, I'm yes. part of the PMC, yeah. Cool, right? So, yeah, so you're part of the PMC, right? So, uh, so the PMC is the? It's the Project Management Committee. So we are looking after the project and uh, we are taking project decisions. And there's the Project Management Chair. At the moment, it's Katjan uh, Wielenga. And um, yeah, we're trying to get more contributors into the project. Um, so if you show up and you're you're doing good work, you might get a uh, get commit rights on uh, on Apache NetBeans. Right. And now I, I gotta ask you because you know you're a founding member of, of JCrete, right? So <laughs> you guys came up with this this crazy idea of being here, and you know. Is there anything gets done here in JCrete, you know, or just people just go on the beach? Oh, they, they they go on the beach and they discuss Java. So that's back there over there. So they, they people are swimming and they they're talking about. Uh, so, so this morning we were at Balos Beach and uh, we were talking about Project Leiden, about Loom, about Valhalla um, projects um, people bring with here. So um, like a, uh, like the one of the maintainers of Jetty is here. So um, it's a very diverse community. 
um, of different projects and different aspects from, from low latency people just looking into performance, people doing observability, and just normal type of developers who have not those big impacts uh, all across the board. That's so cool, right? So, um, and so, so I think, you know, being together, you know, you, you start by saying that you met me. Yeah. And then through me, you met other people, right? So you think that being together in a group of developers uh, is important for our careers? Yeah, absolutely. So um, if, you're, if you get connected, it's, a, it's the, the major thing. So you start knowing people, you start getting more information, so you know where to reach out. If you have a problem or you want something special, you just have like a personal connection to get things done and move things around. And this, this helps. So, um, so, yeah, so it was just a, so, so Bruno talked me into going to Jay Focus and having this great talk with him. And yeah, Jay Focus, I met Heinz and Kirk, and just a couple of months later, Heinz just came and said, hey, so are you interested in trying this one out? So it's wholly a risk, but um, maybe you have fun, and uh, if it works out, it might be a real cool thing. So yeah, and uh, yeah. a decade later, we're still here, <laughs> and a big community. So yeah, getting in contact with people, whoever it is, it's always good. All right. So thanks a lot, Sven. It's great to be to be here with you, and that's my first time in Jcrete, right? So hope you're thanks. back. Yeah. So thanks, thanks for creating this great event. You know, helping create this great event. You're uh, and thanks, thanks for for uh, you know for doing all this. And you know, thanks Jcrete for inviting me to be here, and and for you, right? You know, participate in open source, get started. You know, even if for for a t-shirt, right? Get started, and and then get get your career moving, right? So if you're more interested in tips about growing your career. Don't forget to like and subscribe, especially to this um, playlist right here because I'm traveling around Europe uh, getting the best uh, career tips for you. Thanks very much.